Good morning. I feel dead inside. What time is it? It is a minute to 11. I'm still so tired. <sighs> I suppose I should get up now though. Can we all just take a moment to appreciate my extra healthy breakfast? Tea and rich tea biscuits. What a health guru. Good morning, Safi. I think it's like quarter to 12 now and I'm a little bit more awake because I had tea, which helps. So, um, I think for the first time in God knows how long, I'm going to get dressed and out of pyjamas, which is so rare. Now I am dressed. I'm gonna do something even more rare. <sighs> gonna open the curtains. I don't like daylight. Oh, Jesus. What the frick is that? Oh my God, it's a massive bird. <laughs> Not as bad as I thought it would be. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the horse in the field with a little zebra coat on? I think it's so cute. They normally have two horses in the field, but I don't know where the other one is. Sometimes they like hide amongst the bushes and stuff. Okay, so I need to make my bed still, but this is my outfit of the day. I promise you I have got a skirt on. I'm not sure whether or not to put a little bit of makeup on, but I don't really see any point. No, I can't bother. What do I do now? I might put a banana on. Basically, where, where are they? There's some here. I tried to do this, um bandana thing for the NHS like rainbow thing. I got like a 12 pack of bandanas off Amazon. <laughs> They've all fallen down except that corner. <laughs> so um yeah, I have a massive range of bandanas. I might try and find a dark green one for my outfit. None of these. This is the ones I have left in the bag. I have this one. Not a bad match to be honest. Yeah, I might put this one on. That's cute. I will do my hair and I will be back. My bandana is now on. Oh no, I forgot to remove my pyjamas. Yeah. I actually don't know what to do with myself now. I'm debating whether or not to go in the garden. I just want to play Animal Crossing. But it's like, I want to go in the garden as well. I don't really know if I want to play Animal Crossing in the garden. Does that make any sense? I don't even know what I'm on about anymore. 20 minutes later. I might just go in the garden. I've been in the garden for like a minute and I'm bored. So, what are you up to? She's gonna go and get the little birds. No, I don't think so, Saf. She wants the string of my camera, the strap, and it's making a shadow, and she wants the shadow. <laughs> Sam, stop. <laughs> Girl. She is using me as food and a cook. I've been out here like. 20 minutes maybe and I am so bored so I think I'm gonna go inside and play on the crossing now. tidy because there's just some things dotted around so I thought I would just like have a chat about lockdown life whilst tidying up so yeah let's go okay so first off I'm going to take these down <laughs> because um, it didn't really work but I'm going to stick this up from the paper instead so um yeah lockdown 
it's not really any different for me because I rarely used to leave the house anyway but it's just annoying that I can't go and see my boyfriend because of like flooding and everything and then storms and whatnot and now you know this I haven't seen him since just before Christmas which isn't great that's the only real thing I have with lockdown it affects your parents a lot more than me but yeah I'm okay it's just weird seeing everyone else inside <laughs> because it used to just be me like never leaving the house and now suddenly like no one else is going out and I'm just like what <laughs> it, it's weird as you can see I'm still at my dad's I've been temporarily at my dad's now for over a year <laughs> it is what it is at the end of the day this is like still hanging on one side flip it off that was easy we've had to like tidy my clothes away because there's been a moth infestation in my room so yeah that's fun honestly the only thing I'm gonna say about lockdown is like I feel so sorry for everyone in uni especially because they still have to like just get on with it and honestly I would not be able to cope with that so honestly I feel so sorry for them and it's honestly so weird thinking that people aren't going to be doing their GCSEs and A-levels but that's insane on the 11th of May I can't believe I remember dates but on the 11th of May, it'll be five years since I started my GCSE exams. That is actually crazy. I feel really old. <laughs> like, <laughs> half a decade ago, I was nearly doing my GCSEs. And now GCSEs aren't even happening this year. Like, it's just weird. Like, this whole thing is just so, so odd. There's actually some really cute pastel colours in here as well. I've got a few more in my suitcase because... I was supposed to be going to Nathan's a few months ago. Okay, that is one step done. Now next is to tackle the makeup and stuff. I can't even remember where anything goes. I suppose I'll put these back in my suitcase even though I'm not going anywhere for the foreseeable. I'm practically done with this already. I just, I've just been putting it off for ages. That is also the reason why I haven't been filming in like a month because I just don't have the motivation. I've just been waking up every day and it's like, what's the point? And not like I um, haven't been like that before lockdown, but um, <laughs> yeah, it's another story. I've wanted to do YouTube videos, but actually getting into the right frame of mind to, you know, like film and upload and edit, blah, blah. blah. I've just been like, I, I just can't face it. Which kind of makes me sad because YouTube is like a way for me to like feel productive. But not being able to do anything productive is just making me feel even worse. Like the other night I was looking at online courses and I was like yeah I really want to do this. That was at like 1 in the morning and then I woke up and I suddenly wasn't in that frame of mind again. Honestly look how much better that is now. I need to put that away when I put the scissors away for the cellar tape. That is like a mess, but I know where everything is, so it's kind of a mess, but it's kind of not. And then I'll put that on top of that pink box. So yeah, that area is done. Okay, so that is officially stuck on the window. I don't know how long it will be on there for in terms of when it will get unstuck again. Nice by my mother. <laughs> She's admiring my poster sticking up skills yeah nice one mom i just need to sort this area out now i've got like my um switch stuff like my stylus Woo! the thing is like with a switch stylus <laughs> it obviously the game came in this box with the stylus the stylus was just like chilling on the side of the box and i was like okay <laughs> and like there's nowhere to store it because it doesn't fit properly in the box without it sliding around so that is kind of annoying i don't really know if i want to put the games in the box because that will just annoy me when i want to play the other one <laughs> lazy but yeah i am absolutely obsessed with animal crossing when i was younger i never like got into it but it's just amazing actually do you know what for my own safety i'll put that in there because I need to stop being lazy. It'll be safer in there. But it looks so much better now if it takes away. My pad can stay there. That can stay there. Mine. This thing. 
Like, where do you install this thing? Now, it's time to tackle the bed. <laughs> I'm pretty much just going to chill and play with Animal Crossing, which is what I've been doing for like the past three weeks. Got talents just finished now, and I think I'm just gonna like edit this video. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all like staying safe and making sure you're okay mentally, physically, emotionally. I actually don't know when I'll be uploading again. Hopefully, something exciting will happen in my life. I'll be back soon. Bye.